So guys, you know, I'm an old school guy. I like Facebook still. I know many of you guys are on TikTok and Instagram and many of the other social media apps, but I do like Facebook and I have a friends list and I comment on posts just like I did 20 years ago. But I came across this particular video. Um, it's kind of like a reel from a brother that I know here on the internet by the name of Brother Darius Robbins. Um, now, Brother Darius is originally from St. Louis. He participated on some of the Hall of Game shows with me. And uh, Brother Darius is now living in Atlanta and he runs an entertainment consulting company called Mike Check Global. So the brother's been doing his thing. You know, he works with a lot of artists, artist development, the entertainment industry. Um, he's a mover and he's a shaker in what he does. And, um, you know, he, he he's doing his thing, right? I like the guy, I've talked to the guy, I've interviewed him myself. He's a young black man. He has a um, an insatiable desire for entrepreneurship. But unfortunately, he had a, a problem, right? That he had to address. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this particular clip and then we're gonna come back and address it. A lot of you guys ask for advice, you ask for tips, but you don't wanna pay for the information, okay? We offer Zoom calls for those who wanna get guidance, who wanna get one-on-one -on -one time with us to discuss your marketing strategy, but you cannot get this for free. It's not gonna happen. Imagine if you worked your butt off to get to where you are and people wanna ask you for features for free. They want you to perform for free. It's not, it's not fair, right? So if you want the real information, you're gonna have to pay for it, but we offer consultations, one-on-one -on -one consultations before you even get to the big bucks in the marketing budget if you wanna schedule a time to talk with us. DM us and say consultation, peace. So guys, we've heard what Brother Darius had to say. And without him saying what he's talking about, we know who he's talking about. He's not talking to just rappers. Brother Darius is talking to black male rappers. And this is the same thing that we get all the time. African-American men wanting to end their industry of successful people emailing successful people or wanting advice from successful people who have themselves paid for money, who have themselves invested into what they do, and then believing that they're gonna get that information for free to help catapult their career. Listen, if I had $100 for every time somebody wanted me to consult them for free on YouTube or how to run a social media business with the thousands upon thousands upon millions upon thousands of dollars that I have invested in editing, that I have invested in equipment, cameras, sound, mics. I mean, I have a full production studio, guys. Like, it's insane if you really saw like what kind of stuff we have, right? I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars into my particular business. And you get guys who believe because you're black that you're supposed to just give that information to them for free. And I wanna talk about that because this is a definite sign of black male disrespect. And I wanna talk about this to some of you brothers out there who may not have come from, you know, uh, maybe an entrepreneurial background um, or anything like that. The best investment that you're gonna make is the one in yourself, all right? As I'm talking to you right now, uh, the brother who's editing this video is SPK Speaks, right? Um, you guys might know him from SPK Lifestyle. And I remember in 2020, when the guy was editing videos on a cell phone. I was broke as fuck, down on pull my ass, had the lowest luck. And the guys that I had here, you know, Dima, um, Satazi, Quazi, they were much more advanced than he was. Um, in two years, he's teaching <laughs> almost everybody how to do things. And he's like the producer of most of my concepts. If you guys have ever seen Fair Use, that's SPK. If you ever seen like the Repat Podcast, that's SPK. If you wanna know how the thumbnails kinda improved, um, Demon SPK play a role in that and the ideas, that's him. Why he invested in himself, taught himself how to do all those things, shoot films, shoot movies. And now I would say pound for pound, he's probably the best producer in black YouTube. A lot of the things that I'm doing right now, come from him, right? And even at the end of Kevin Samuels' life, Kevin Samuels was the, the only person that he would trust his stuff with is SPK. 
That's just an example, right? But that's thousands of dollars of time, of repetition, of everything put into motion for that. And I wanna tell black men, like, what do you expect that you're gonna get out of life without investing, without mentorship? Listen, shout out to the Film Booth YouTube channel, right? The guy does a real good job. I'm a client of his and, um, you know, it's like 400 pounds an hour, you know, as far as getting, you know, uh, strategies and things like that with Ed, right? Um, Ed is the truth, right? He's worth every dollar that I've paid for him and I'm gonna book again with him again. As soon as I started, you know, dealing with Ed, I, I did uh, one session with him back in June. It changed the whole channel the whole perspective of what we did that was 500 bucks you gave me that information and since you've given me that it's been great right and i'm a film booth client i reinvest into what i see so a lot of times you guys ask me how i get there i pay and the thing was anything with brother Darius robbins guys why can't you pay another black man for what he knows this is how we build relationships this is how you build economies this is how you build businesses all right you, 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 you know, brothers got to really understand the big picture. You want to be somewhere, you want to do something, you want to be great. Where is your investment? A lot of brothers want to be somewhere and don't invest. And I want to talk about this. I know a lot of guys who are money makers, right? Guys who make money. I want to talk about those brothers because, you know, you have guys who, who make money and there's no reinvestment to the business. So that guys make money, they don't reinvest, they spend all their money on stuff and then when you know the money kind of runs out they're out of the business that's one guy or the guy who always has all these plans and he don't invest in nothing bruh it takes money to do things it takes time to do things it takes tenacity to do things you have to take risk all right you want to be an engineer not for free truck driver not for free entrepreneur not for free and if you have a great business Guess what you gotta do? You gotta pay for talent. Nobody's gonna work for you for free. You gotta be able to retain talent. Look at YouTube. YouTube was owned by Google. You think people work for YouTube, work for little or no change? No, the best and brightest minds work for YouTube. That's why it keeps innovating and changing. Look at Facebook, it keeps innovating and changing. Look at all the, the great tech companies, the great financial companies, Fidelity, Vanguard, BlackRock. It keeps changing because the best minds are innovating it. But now what's the incentive to innovate it? Because people are getting paid to do so. They're getting compensated. A lot of brothers want to get things without no compensation. Like you got you to be honest with yourself. Let's get real. All right. One of the things that's helped me really in this business, is the fact that I pay, I support, whether it's people in the manosphere, whether it's the talent, I don't try to lowball people or whatever, whatever I can do, I go overboard to keep my talent with me. You know, I invest into what I want to be. I invest into my future. You brothers got to do the same thing. And if it's a white person, you might not have no problem paying, but it's a black person, let me get it for free. It's a black man, let me get it for free. It's not all black men, but this is a lot. Because I come across y'all. Then you have the attitude to get mad when you don't have no investment, no skin in the game. How are you going to grow? Get out of that habit, man. Invest into what your knowledge is. Invest into the information. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode here, you guys, on the Slurby Junk. I appreciate you guys all together. Subscribe at the bell. Peace out.